Okay guys, welcome to Wide Family Farm. Today we are picking our peas and um, getting those ready. Um, we have quite the mess. All right, so what we're doing here is I pulled some of these and then I cut my onion tops. So this will all be taken out and then we're taking down the peas because they're blocking the sunlight. We got a ton of peas already. I think we got four pounds the other day and then we have more. Which one I missed. And then we have more in here. So we're picking them and putting them in here. Um, and then, you know, we'll get more peas down this road. And we got a ton. So as I'm going down through here, I'm just cutting the onion tops too. Um, and then we're pulling out the peas. Also, we found these. Yeah, we're finding a lot of surprises. I already found a couple of tomato plants. I pulled them already, but... You pulled the big one? Yeah, I pulled them. I was leaving it go. Um, and then, I don't know what this is. We didn't have pumpkins or squash in here. No, so I have no idea what this is, but um, it kind of looks like squash, because if it was pumpkin, I think it would be different. I don't know. Mm, we'll figure similar. it out. Surprise. <laughs> okay, so we're out here. Oh, my flowers have bloomed. It's so exciting. Um, through the forest of uh, valerian root. We are out here picking the peas. Um, we cut them down. They were kind of stopping the onions from growing. So we decided to cut them back and um, let the onions do their thing. I cut the tops off the onions. We still have like a few more peas. So far we got like two baskets full. Um, not a whole lot going on out here, just that. And um, yeah, I picked all the weeds and um, cut the tops on the onions. And hopefully we get more peas, like pound-wise. I think we got like four pounds the other day. So we'll probably get a little over four pounds this time around. So super excited about that. And um, yeah, not a whole lot else going on. Just peas, carrots. My celery over there is doing really good. Everything in the garden is doing really good. Yeah, we need a weed whack in here. But other than that, my black Nigerian hollyhock actually bloomed. And um, I'll show you real quick. And some of them bloomed like right before my eyes, really. Um, I'm having an issue though. I um, see all these holes riddled in it. Um, they're called Harley Quinn bugs. I saw them. And um, they're eating my ho uh, hollyhock here. I don't like that. So tonight, I'm going to put some DE on it. I had a ladybug sitting on that leaf, so I brought it over. But um, I don't think it's going to do much. Right here, you'll see. Not that thing. That thing right there, see that? That's a, called a Harley Quinn bug. And um, it's going to die. So, yeah. At first I thought, oh, they're small and they're kind of cute looking. Not so much. I got two of them and they're just pounding this thing. Look at it. It looks unhealthy. So I'm going to cut some of the leaves off. And then I'm going to spray it with DE in hopes that it comes back okay. But yeah, this is the most beautiful plant ever. And I have some down by the road, but this is like gorgeous. This is my favorite of all, but I definitely need to get on that. I didn't realize how bad they're making these leaves. So I'm gonna cut some of these off and then I'm going to DE it for sure. Everything else, though, in the garden is looking really good, really healthy. Um, I'm going to cut down my valerian root in the fall and harvest it. Um, uh, my zinnias are doing wonderful. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And my herbs are doing great. 
um, my parsley has went to seed, which is okay. And my carrots are doing good. Everything's doing good. I got some sunflowers in with the soil, along with some other uh, flowers. Um, this is that amaranth that we planted. This is called Love Lies Bleeding. It's so beautiful. And yeah, so this is the mess right here. But we're going to rake all that up and give everything to the birds. And we should be okay. Okay, so look at this. Got my first zucchini, Black Beauty. I actually have another one in there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it right there? It's kind of cool. So I got a couple of zucchinis in there. The Black Beauties. Those are doing really good. Oh, look. My nasturtium's doing really good over here. I, there, every time I turn around, there's like something new I forgot that I planted. Everything's doing awesome. These are tomato lane over here as well. Corn is actually knee high by the 4th of July. We might actually get corn, which that is a complete rarity. Because we have tried to grow corn in the past and it just never worked out. We had a windstorm come through and it like took them out. Like it knocked over all of our sunflowers and the corn and the little bit of corn that was left we only got a couple ears off of it i don't really know if this year i did you know things um sufficiently or not i am um, obviously we did these tomatoes and the cucumbers are here or cucumbers i mean the celery's here i think it's shading it pretty good um i think the Celery just needs to grow just a smidge more and then I'm going to pull it and it's going to be an SOB to pull because they have a giant tap root. Um, but I think that's kind of cool. Um, we'll see. I don't have near as much as what I thought I was going to have. We had a few die out here and there. Carrots, they're doing great. I'm really, really actually happy with that because you've seen my other previous carrot videos. I didn't think I was going to do crap this year. Um, that's the same with the peas. I was worried because he had raccoons and stuff coming out here, eating stuff and ripping stuff out. and I didn't think that I was going to have them. Over here, this side is doing better as far as carrots are concerned. Um... They just look better. That side must, you know, get the sun blocked quite a bit, too. Um, over here, we have other carrots that we transplanted, and they're more than ready. Um, we just need to pick them whenever we're ready. So, but over here, sunflowers. We've got tons of sunflowers everywhere, and I can't wait for those to bloom. Um, we've got some hot peppers. I don't know if you can see. I don't even know what those are called, but some hot peppers right there. Yeah, I'm everywhere, actually. And um, it's exciting. But my, you know, one thing I know noticed that I'm really good at is growing celery. Um, I did a lot of research on it, how to do it. And um, blanched it like you're supposed to. I think I'm going to actually make more mound around the bottom. Um, but for the most part, the celery is doing absolutely wonderful. I'm very happy. I, and I totally didn't mean for the marigolds to take over like that and it killed that celery out, I can tell already, but I didn't think they were gonna bush out like that, <laughs> so. But yeah, everything's doing really good and I'm really pleased. Those sunflowers that I planted down there, they only get like five foot tall. They already have a head on them. So eventually that's going to bloom. Um, I'm excited about that.